Hello friends, we are getting going. I have stuff in my arm. That's why I'm kind of holding the camera funny. I don't have it on a little, what do you call it? Tripod type thing. So we are getting ready to go out. It's only 9.40. Jason and I are kind of ahead of schedule this morning in terms of going out because we don't have much to do here at home except for laundry. There's always laundry, you guys. There's always laundry. I even did laundry yesterday on Sunday to try and get on top of it today, and there's still more laundry. But I, we are going out to Lowe's and to Costco this morning. I was hoping we could avoid Costco because we're trying to make a master list of another big stock up and bulk up our food supply. There's Jason. There are my keys. Just take my purse. You wanna say hi? Hey. I'm coming. Okay. We also got this. Kaylee is officially signed up for a driving school so she can officially go and get her permit. We're waiting on the permit to come through because um, Department, of, Department of Licensing has to see that she's signed up with the class and it takes like two to three days for that to register and we did it like on Friday. So given the weekend, we gotta wait a couple more days. And we've got some big things happening. I've got my breakfast drink and there's no cereal, so I've got very little to go off of this morning to kind of, oh, there's bad light. Anyway, so we're gonna go, um, oh, I'm gonna fill my ice water. But we have a lot on our plate today besides Costco and Lowe's. Let me get to the car and I'll tell you the first thing that happened this morning. I don't, I didn't get to document it, but it, it's kind of a big thing. So hang on and I'll tell you. Also, apparently everyone else only had breakfast drinks. <laughs> There's only one bowl. That was probably, Ash oh, it's probably Jason actually. It's probably oatmeal. I guess I could have had oatmeal. I didn't think of that. Oh, oh well. actually totally able to document what happened this morning because I've been awake since 4 45 this morning yeah Chelsea woke up at 1 and then again at 2 and then again at 4 and then at 4 45 something out maybe that Chelsea was still awake I forget she has really bad allergies so we just switched her allergy pill we have two different versions and we switched it to see if that would help but she was just miserable and I just felt bad. So I kept having a hard time going back to sleep. And then I knew that we were gonna get an email at 4.30 this morning that I needed to reply to by 7 a.m. And so I had set my alarm for 6.45 and then I ended up being awake right when the email came in. <laughs> so I was able to take care of it. So our big news this morning and what I eventually could have filmed but I knew Abby wouldn't want me to was that she decided on Saturday to go ahead and go back to school. She goes today and tomorrow, and then she's remote Thursday and Friday, with Wednesday just being, they have like a behavior class, social, emotional awareness kind of a class in the morning, and then their homeroom class to check in, and then they can use that day to go to the school if they need help with the teacher from the teachers. She just suddenly decided um, to go back in person. She, um, had friends that went to the Thursday Friday schedule it's based on your last name and they sent her pictures and they were like this is how spaced out the classrooms are and my classrooms only had five kids in each one it was so great but we got to see each other and have lunch and you get an assigned seat at lunch so she'll be able to go do that today and they have free lunch um, offered for the kids at school and I just think it suddenly dawned on her that the way her remote school it has shifted with the teachers teaching in the classroom the focus is on the kids in the classroom and not so much as the, on the kids in remote online and that's and not changed it. she only has like five minutes between classes she has to like sit there they're all kind of like six classes in one day rather than spread out yeah so it became and she's like a total self-learner she still. is and that she was kind of hoping that it would be like the two hour chunks of time like she had it before where she was done with her homework and understanding of it 
within 15 minutes, but had to stay on the call for the rest of the two hours. She thought that's how it was gonna be, and so she thought that it would be a whole lot easier to not have to stay within that call. Anyway, it, it isn't that way, and so she just decided for her social lacking of friendships and, and interactions this past year, um, she decided she needed to go back to school to be with people, but also she could tell even within two days that she, her school was going to be uh, is was going to take a hit. Her being her ability to learn, I should say, um, was going to take a hit. She didn't. She doesn't like that. She doesn't like getting lower than A's, and so uh, she just decided I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do everything I can to prepare myself and. She did, she got up and had to be at the bus stop at 7 a.m. this morning and I told her to not pack a lunch, to just go ahead and use the free lunch that the school offered and take that off of her plate this morning and... Because they don't have lockers anyway, so she nope, has to they, carry it around. Yeah, they have there. to carry everything around and she's like, oh, that would be so nice if I don't have to carry my lunch with me. So she's off and running and I'm just proud that she is able to like make those decisions for herself and she also like worked with us to try and get her friend's parents vaccinated so that that circle of friends is safe. And I think we're down to like one dad and I think he's gonna try and go today. So it just opens up a little world for her to feel safe and be able to like have some friendships and some social atmosphere. And I, I need that for her and she needs that for herself. So that's our biggest thing this morning, but I wasn't able to document it, but I wanted to let you know if you don't, well, you don't see her often anyway because she just doesn't like being on camera, but that is where she is and it's just kind of fun. And then our other news will come later in a separate video because I feel like it's enough thing of a thing that I want to document separately and I have to ask the person if they're willing to let me document them. So there's two people involved in that. So we Either will. Way, a good announcement. If we can film it all, it'll be a good little announcement. Yeah, it'll be a good announcement. We'll we'll document it in our own way if we can't film the person involved, but it it'll be a good one. So stay tuned for that. So we're at Lowe's first. Found this planter and it's like plastic. So, but it looks like ceramic. So I think we don't know the price of it. We're hoping it's like 15. But I'm gonna transplant some of my hydrangea and my peonies. Depending on the price, maybe we'll get two of these. I don't know. There's only one. Oh, you're right. There is only one. All right, so we didn't tell you before, but we got two different pots, because the other one we showed you was like $40, and these were $14 a piece. So we got those two, and then we came to Costco. Normal stuff. These were on rebate for like $6. So, good deal on that. All right, so Jason and I have come home and eaten lunch and then packed our Costco stuff. We also got these at Lowe's for me to put into my little planter right here. I think this is super cute and I'm gonna try and keep these alive, but I might need Kaylee's help. This is doing really well so far. So, I've got my charcoal that I'm gonna put in first and you've got the dirt. This is cactus dirt and I've got some cactus food and then we might put these on top. Kaylee doesn't have any more of the little little pebbles so we're just gonna we're gonna make it make this work here. Okay Chelsea you want to come help me? Sure. Alright. Oh but we're gonna put the charcoal in first. Okay. I don't know how much we need. Neither do I. Let's do it all around I guess. Go we'll ask Kaylee really quick. She's on a call. Just go and ask her really yeah. quick how much charcoal I put down. I'm just not sure if I like fill it or if I just have it in there. I don't know. All right, Kaylee says I need to go and get more of these little rocks. I should have gotten them at Lowe's. So I only have, I thought I had some because I saw this guy, but they're just the big ones that go on top. See how they're like on top of the plant, on top of the soil. So I'm gonna let these ones stay here in these pots before I plant them in here. So, but we can go outside and do the other ones. All right, my next step is to be daring and dig up my hydrangea here and my peony here. This is the new shoots for this year. They might have actually branched off, but I do have old shoots coming up down here as well. But I've gotta like dig the whole thing up. Hang on, Chelsea, I'm gonna have dad help us. Thank you. 
We are obviously like urban gardeners because we don't know what we're doing. I sprinkled some little plant food on there. The pot is obviously too small <laughs> for the width of the two plants. We actually have two little sections of the peonies that have kind of sprouted, but I think it'll eventually like settle in there just fine. And then over here, the hydrangea fits perfectly inside there. And I think this one is going to do a lot better in this pot. Meanwhile, Jason is working out some angst on this tree back here. You can see the tree on the left, nice and green. The tree on the right, nice and brown. So, so the tree on the left is taking all the sunshine, right, Jace? Yeah, I think it's getting all the sun. So if I can top it, make it more sun and help it grow. Yeah, because this one next to it has been trimming the sides of it to get it to grow upward, and it's doing really well. But this tree right here is just really struggling. We have about an hour and a half before we have to take Kaylee. I'm gonna get the fan out. I'm too hot now. So we have to take Kaylee. That's gonna be a separate video, actually. You can't even see me. There we go. But I think it's time to get the fans out. Even though it's gonna be like 60 degrees in two days. <laughs> I'm gonna go into the deep abyss. Remember our closet? Super easy to get the fans out now. So. Okay, so sorry about that. We are down here with Kaylee and her friend, and she is doing, we are down at the Golden Gardens, um, I don't know what, anyway, park, but it is out on the sound. What is this, right, the, Jace? This is technically the sound, right? Oh yeah, this is the sound right here across the peninsula. Yeah. Over there is the peninsula. Up. One of these might be the island. Yeah. So we are out here for, for Kaylee. She has a biology assignment to do tide pool oh. examinations Ocean for her biology class. Well, Correct, like Kaylee? I think Dad's more excited about this than that Kaylee is. That squirted at me. That squirted at you? Yeah, like watch. Well, it's not like, those are like barnacles that you, sh oh, it's like a lie. Why are you killing it? I'm not killing it. Jason, you, you're not supposed to kill the. Oh, look at all those bug things down there. Oh, those, oh gosh, we can't take you anywhere. Well, You're gonna like kill all the plant I'm life to help or her animal find, life. Help her find things no, to take pictures of. All right. We also did something really fun with her today, um, but you're gonna have to wait for that video tomorrow to find out what we did with her and to see more of her exploration down here on the beach. Um, but we just wanted to kind of show you down here a little bit today because that is what we're doing and I am splitting these two I'm videos up. <laughs> I'm wow, not, okay. I don't know. That's I'm my cue honest. to like, you know. Anyway, I'll let you guys view the sound down here in Seattle and uh, we'll continue on our day. All right. We are two very tired parents, correct? I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Jason. What? All right, we are gonna call it quits tonight. We're tired. Uh, I really like feel like we did two days in one. I filmed two videos for a specific reason, but it literally feels like I've like lived two days. <laughs> Today has been a very long day. We got a lot done. And if you wanna find out what the other half of our day was, stay tuned till tomorrow and you'll see what we did. I'm just doing that to goat you guys, like trying to keep you here watching and continuing on our journey so just teasing you find out what we do tomorrow by coming back and watching us all right take care good night or something what is it doing is it doing it no. turn it off and turn it on again <laughs>